Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the BSOD error in Windows 11, which gives you the error bddci.sys error message into that blue screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue very, very easily. This is an issue that was reported by a few users in these weeks. So just follow along this video to see how to fix it. First of all, we're going to have to boot up into our recovery environment. So for that, we're going to right click on the start button, shut down or sign out. And while holding holding shift on your keyboard, click on restart. In the recovery environment, make sure to click on troubleshoot, then on advanced options, and then on command prompt to open up the command prompt as administrator into the recovery environment. And here we're going to have to use the following command, which is bcd edit space slash enum, and then press enter. What is this command doing? Basically, it will show you the letter of your Windows disk. So for example, as you can see here, in my case, it is C. But if in your case, it is something else, make sure to type that certain letter in the next command, which will be basically the Windows disk letter and a colon and then press enter. We are now basically in the C partition. Now the next command that we're going to run is CD space backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers and then press enter. And now we will be in this location. And now we're going to run a command which will basically delete that certain file that caused us an error, which was bddci.sys. So we're going to type in the command del space bddci.sys and then press enter. In my case, as you can see, I don't have that certain file. But if you received that blue screen error, this command should run successfully and this file should be successfully deleted. You can also check if that was successfully deleted by running the command command dir bd and then using these symbols and then press enter and as you can see the file was not found we don't have it and if you receive this as well you are good to go all you need to do now is to exit out from here and then click on continue exit and continue to windows 11. the system should now run properly and you should no longer receive that blue screen error on windows 11. also don't forget that all the information and the commands used in this video will be in the article down below in the description from our website i was emmanuel from techbase don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the techbase channel for more videos like this until next time have a nice day